Meanwhile, this breaking news right now. Breaking news overnight. An explosion rocks a FedEx facility near San Antonio, Texas, shortly after midnight last night when a package bound for Austin blew up on the conveyor belt. FBI agents believe this latest incident is likely tied to the four recent bombings in Austin. I want to bring in Congressman Brian Babin right now. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us this morning. This is not your district, I know, but what is your reaction to what's happening in New York State? Well, it seems like deja vu all over again with the Unabomber. Uh, you know, this we've, we've got to we've got to look at the evidence here. Obviously, this package was uh, bound for Austin, even though it uh, exploded in Shirts, Texas, which is just outside of uh, San Antonio. Uh, but you've got to, you've, you've got someone out there who is very very evil, uh, who is. Uh, uh, I think the third explosion was a package on the side of the road that injured two uh, two young people. Uh, so we've got to get to the bottom of this and solve this crime, and hopefully very rapidly, uh, so that we can keep uh, that area safe. Go Governor Abbott uh, in Texas have, has been trying to appeal to what, what could be a serial bomber, saying, please communicate with us. Do we know anything about the perpetrator? T to my knowledge, I, I don't have any information on that. Uh, I was with the governor the other day. We didn't talk about this. Uh, but this is absolutely a terrorist activity. Uh, we have no clue who this is. Absolutely no clue. I'm sure the FBI and the law enforcement agencies that are looking into this have some, some tips, some clues. Uh, but I, I haven't heard anything about it, Maria.